as some may or may not know, Much Afraid is a reference to a to a book that, that all of us have read, at least in part. Um, it's a main character in a, in a allegorical story by Hannah Hernard, and the lead, lead character's name is Much Afraid. And um, we really felt like the the kind of the paradigm we wanted to use for writing most of the songs in this record was the issue of of you know of fear driving us towards faith. And um, and so I think uh, I think that's kind of the backdrop on which a lot of the songs are, are kind of hung. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Xanadu. With Matthew Odemark as Captain Fantastic and Dan Hasseltine as The Professor. Half free. Playing himself, Heffrey. Steve Lipson as Dr. Shivago. Charlie Lowell as Aunt Millie. And starring Greg Wells as Dick Fry. And Stephen Mason as the Brown Dirt Cowboy and the announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Xanadu. Teen Sympathy is, is a song that, that deals primarily with um, the issue of adultery in a lot of ways and, uh, um, and the ways that um, relationships can, can really be broken down by, by such insignificance. And uh, um, it's really just, it, it's a, a dialogue between three people and, uh, and just to speak uh, between two people who are in a relationship together and, and one who is is kind of outside more of a temptress in the, the scenario and, and just um, just really talks a lot about the mind of, of what a person might go through in the midst of an affair or um, the midst of struggling through difficulties in a relationship. So, yeah. I think it really speaks well of how um, a seed in a relationship can, can fester and uh, grow to such proportions that uh, although it was insignificant at the time, um, it can become something so much more troubling in the end. Let's, uh, let's see what the audience thinks. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know. You know, in, in England, we don't have rhythm. I think the, the kind of the capturing concept of that song is um, just that in our inability to, to be weak is born true weakness, and, and just that we... Um, we need to be weak in, in the eyes of God in order to be strong. And when we're unable to be weak, then we truly find ourselves in a place of desperation and um, barrenness. Yeah. So we brought guitars and uh, wrote a song in the laundry room. Yep. It was known as the laundry room song for a, a, a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mad. Steve, if you like, make your eyes blurry. They kind of look like deer. I think you're right. 
Fade to Gray was the first song that, that was written uh, ever as Jars of Clay. Yeah. We wrote it back in college in 1993. Yeah. Wow. Early 90s. On our dorm floor. Wow. <laughs> in my bedroom with Remember an acoustic guitar and a keyboard. Then? That's yeah. right. I think I was wearing a bandana when we wrote this. <laughs> yeah. You were in a bandana? Yeah. A bandita? Uh, it's, it's a song that lyrically deals with um, the issues of doubt and uh, where we find truth, um, how we seek truth. Um, it's kind of a, a skeptic's anthem. <laughs> no, well, yeah. it totally might be a hushing anthem. <laughs> Crazy Times is, is a song that, that um, talks a lot about how um, prayer is usually the last place we go when we're in the midst of a struggle or a crisis or something like that. And, um, you know, oftentimes we, we rant and rave and do a lot of different things before we come to the point where we realize we're, we can't do it on our own and uh, we need help from, from God. And finally we reach that place to, um, to be able to pray and to be in weakness there. And that's what the song is about.